Another thing that we may want to see is hyperlinks. A lot of times our customers or ourselves, we want to be able to use the PDF as a way to navigate around not only inside the PDF, but also to points outside of the PDF. You can see on this page that there is a URL. If I scroll over a little bit, I can see it, www.pluckyponies.com. If I move my mouse up on top of the URL, you see that it automatically becomes a hyperlink. If I click it, it will take me to pluckyponytoys.com. I'd like to show you how we enable this behavior. All we have to do is to go to our Preferences menu on the Macintosh. It's under the Acrobat menu. On the Windows machines, it will be under the Edit menu. Go to Preferences, and in the General area, you'll see a selection called Create Links from URLs. If this is enabled, Acrobat will automatically scan your PDF, look for URL-like phrases, so things like www.pluckyponies.com or james at workingwords.net. It will find these things and identify them as being either internet destinations or email addresses and will make them automatically into hyperlinks. If you don't want that to happen, then you can shut that off. But for now, I'd like to leave it on because I think it's a really handy behavior to be using whenever you're opening a PDF that's come to you from any source. You can always know that you can use the URLs that are built into that PDF and be able to go to wherever they want you to go. I'd like now to search inside the PDF and you'll see up on our toolbar there happens to be a find menu. If I go up here and I click, I can now start to type in some phrase inside of the find menu, such as working words. And there we are, it's found it. I can go to the next instance by clicking the next instance button. And you'll see as we click through, the phrase gets highlighted inside the PDF. It makes it very easy to see where it is. You could also use Control G on a Windows machine or Command G on a Macintosh, and that will take you to the next elements inside of the PDF as to where those phrases are. If you happen to need some more advanced searching, then we can use that as well. If you click and hold the menu to the right of the search area, then you'll see Open Full Acrobat Search. This allows me to look in a more detailed way at the content of the PDF. I'm going to hide the bookmarks here so that we can see more of the page. And we can type in a different set of phrases, such as provisioning, but I want it to match in case, and I want it to be the whole word. I want it to be the whole word, and I want it to be case sensitive. Now I could also look inside of bookmarks or inside of comments if the PDF had comments as well. Simply click search, and it will take me to the place in the PDF where the words are. But you'll also see that our results are indicated in a bookmark-like way so that we can quickly navigate to those places inside of the PDF where that phrase or word happens to be. So I click the first one, it knows that it's on page three and it indicates that with the pop-up. This one will be on page seven. And then this one here will also be on page seven in a different place. So this is a very nice way to see the full results of your search before you go and navigate into the PDF using that advanced search capability. You could also look, if we say new search, you're not limited to documents that are open at that moment. You could also look at PDFs that are in other places on your computer. So if you instead wanted to search all the documents in, in this case it would look on all the documents on all the local disks, I don't want to do that. I could look in a specific folder, so I could browse for a location, I could pick chapter 2, say choose, now it's going to look in chapter 2 and I'm going to look for the phrase provisioning inside of there and search and you'll see that I have two documents that are popping up now and I can see where in those two documents we're going to see the results. If I'd like to see on prepared to help, I could click in the link here for page one of prepared to help and it will open up prepared to help and it will take me there. If you're trying to find content in a large group of PDF files that happen to be located either on your computer or on a place in a server, then you can use the advanced search to search again outside of your computer or outside of your local folders or outside of the document that happens to be open at any one time. A lot of people use this a lot of the time. So become familiar with the advanced search. I think you'll find that it will be a very, very helpful thing for you. Make it go away.